Hello everyone, Charles from The Bible Unbound. And in my tutorial series that I'm doing on Logos, I'm going to walk through a couple more features. Like today, I want to walk through some of the basic noting and highlighting that you can do and how useful this is on your studies. Now, I tend to use Logos for most of my note taking and I'm transferring a lot of those over to my physical notes. But I like the ability to be able to drop in a note and have Logos system be able to link that throughout all of the Bibles. I really do like this feature. Now, the basic way to get to the notes, um, there's two different ways you can do it. On your side panel, uh, you'll see here your Bible, fact book, and documents. Your notes are going to be under documents. So you've got anything that looks like this little icon is going to be a notebook. And I can show you more about the notebooks later. But for right now, we're going to go to documents, open up my Charles notes. Now, this has all the notes that I've taken on all of my different Bibles and references. So anything will be in this notebook. Uh, you can make separate notebooks for, you know, separate functions or features. Like if you're doing a study that's on a specific topic, you can have all of those be there because it can get kind of jumbled because you'll notice in here when I go um, and take the highlights, you've got all these different anchors on the side. you got ones that are specific on ESV and uh, NIV and KJV. Um, it may show you without the highlighting, you know, uh, if you take compact, like these are all of the different scripture notes and highlights. And you can go to them. It'll tell you how long ago that note was made. Um, I do different colors for different precepts. So uh, like yellow is basically a just, just something to look forward or green is something to focus in on, and red are, um, I'm trying to use like different colors for different purposes. But for right now, let's show you how to take a basic note. Now I'm gonna close that because we'll find a way to go right back to it. Now here in John, I'm gonna take a note on John 1.1, 1, 1. but a little feature if you've got turned on, which is the community notes, you see how this has a gray highlighting underneath it, a gray underline? These are the community notes. And this says that 9,997 9 people highlighted this exact section. So that shows you where, but kind of where people find more interest in. But for now, we're going to highlight John 1, 1. And you've got ways to take highlights, which will just leave a highlight, but not leave a note. So you'll see where a highlight is and you can go back to it later. But for right now, we're going to take a note. So if you click that, it'll put a note in your default notebook. And with that anchor, so this is the anchor text is John 1, 1 from the ESV. And I'll just put in here, this is a test, test note. Because I want to show you a neat little feature. So this note was saved. If you go back to that Bible, you'll see this little icon. I chose green for my late, uh, lately, but you can customize that lately. So that tells you there's a note there. If you hover over that, it'll actually show you the text that you just typed into that note. And if you click on it, it'll go right to that open notebook and you can add more text to it or not. And if you want to have related text, you can do something like, this underneath. Uh, I'll go, this is directly related to Genesis. Uh, so I'd say Genesis 1 1. No, I'm going to change it again. Let's go to Gen 1 colon 1. So chapter and verse. And you notice how it made an anchor. You highlight it just like all your other highlighting and it'll show you that verse. So you can click to it and it'll take you directly to that verse, which is kind of nice. But if you go back to your note, like I said before, highlight that and it'll do the same thing. This is directly related to John 1, 1. Come back to there, John 1, 1. So this is a way that you can take notes and link cross-reference. You can actually do longer notes. Um, and they are specific to the Bibles. Some are specific to specific Bibles, like this notes that this, this was taken from an ESV. But if I go to one of my other Bibles, you'll notice it's not 
It's not visible there, and it's not visible in the New King James. But if I take, go to that note, I think, and I take the main anchor off here, now it should be visible in all Bibles, I do believe. So if I go to 1 1, ah, interesting. So sometimes, oh, I just removed that whole note. So that anchor, I have to remove it. So let's see if I can uh, add the anchor back to it. And we're going to say this reference is John 1 1. Now this anchor is going to be non specific. So it's going to be noticed that John 1 1 now has a note on the New King James. John 1 1 should now have a note. John 1 now has a note there that relates to study Bible notes. This will tell you anything that's got a note in those verses. And ESV has it. So this goes across any of your Bibles. So if I open up another Bible, like if I come to the uh, variant standard and go to John 1.1, 1, 1, you'll probably notice that there's going to be that note there as well. The beginning, John 1.1. 1, 1. So there's that note, test note. So when you do the anchoring that way on your notes, they go span all of them. And then you can have notes that are specific to a version, which can be helpful because you don't always want that note to be in all the versions. So it's kind of a nice design. Um, a little rambling on there, but I really like the way uh, you can use these note systems. So in my notes, I have everything from like uh, the ESV text changes, a note from my life guide. So it's not just Bibles you can take notes in. So if I open this up, and this opens up the material that I was using for this. So this is that business busyness. It's a life guide study. So you can take notes in any any type of reference. You can take notes that are linked inside your um, your commentaries, inside your dictionaries. So and then link them to scripture. So you can highlight something and then take that highlight, link it to another Bible or another scripture back and forth. It's a very robust system and you can get very in-depth, but uh, it still can be as simple or as complex as you want it to be. Um, so don't be afraid to dive in and get started. And uh, if you have any questions, Google is your friend. So you can usually Google a how-to or reach out to somebody else that you may know. Um, our study group tends to reach out to me and my wife to try to help them on these studies. And I'm hoping these tutorials will uh, help edify you and bring you closer in your studies. That's kind of what we're about. And tools like this are very useful for you to dive even deeper into your studies. So with that, that brings us to a close and let us know if this sort of thing is interesting to you in the comments below, like, comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. So that way we can keep bringing you more content like this in the future. So until the next video, you guys have a good day, night, evening, wherever you are. We hope to see you soon.